सो हेलो एंड वेलकम कोडस टू द सिवम यूनिवर्स चैनल सो दिस इज बेसिकली द थर्ड ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ अवर स्नोफ्लेक सीरीज ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट हाउ कैन वी क्रिएट द स्नोफ्लेक अकाउंट वी विल क्रिएट अ फ्री ट्रायल अकाउंट इन ऑफ स्नोफ्लेक इन दिस वीडियो ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम एंड इफ यू हैव एन सीन अवर टू वीडियो स्नो फ्लेक इंट्रो पार्ट वॉट इज स्नो फ्लेक एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव मेक वन वीडियो ऑफ दैट स्नो फ्लेक आर्किटेक्चर वेयर आई हैव डिस्क described the architecture layers and uh, shared architecture and the shared nothing architecture in the depth so if you haven't seen my that video then you can go to the description box and you can watch those videos okay so let's get started and create a free trial account in this video okay first of all you have to open any of the browser and you have to search for the snowflake okay so i am searching snowflake here and after that you have to simply press the enter and you have to just open the this first one link data cloud snowflake okay it is a data cloud platform okay and after that this is the interface of the our official snowflake website okay so here what you have to do here there is a uh, option on the right top okay it start for free so you have to simply click on here start for free and after that you will be redirected to this sign up snowflake page okay so here you have to simply give this entries okay it is a normal plural basic entries you have to fill here okay so i am just giving so i am just filling my some of the entries here okay so just wait okay and for the company and yeah, personal is also okay and for the role uh, you can say whatever you want uh, we will simply choose other only and after that you have to simply click on the continue and okay and here is a most important thing that what account you want okay so it is showing the choose snowflake account addition so we don't was enterprise addition we want just a free trial if you will purchase this enterprise addition then it will ask for the money and all these things so we want that is standard one only okay and it is asking to choose your cloud provider okay so here i am choosing just aws only amazon and here this location you don't have to change this location it will be by default okay and after that you have to simply click on this checkbox and you have to simply click get started Okay, and after that, it will ask some of the questions and all these things. Ah, uh, you can simply check box these also, or you can just skip these things. Okay, so I am just skipping all these things. Okay, so just skip this one also, skip this one also, and now it's. Uh, so in that now you are now signed up and email to activate your account has been sent to this it may take a few minutes to arrive and thank you for response okay yes. it has sent some link to our uh, my email id where uh, there will be a button to activate our account so from there you have to simply open your email id and you have to simply click on that activate account and after that your account will be activated and you will get one url so that uh, you can simply copy that url let me show you that. that thing okay just uh, i have created this uh, snowflake account already actually i am working on the snowflake so that's why i have created this snowflake trial account already so i am not going to create this account again and again so just uh, i'm going to show you that uh, how you can create a account and uh, how, which type of mail you receive okay so this is a mail you, you will receive on your gmail id hi and name and congratulations on taking first step and you have to just simply click on this link click to activate okay username you have given on there whenever you are creating the account and here you, where there also you have given the password also okay so it is showing that username and password because uh, my account is already signed up already signed up that's why it is showing like this okay so i'm not going to activate the account and after that you have to simply go back and after that you will uh, receive this type of mail log into the console your account has been activated whenever your account will be activated uh, whenever you will uh, click on this mail snowflake computing activate your account whenever you will click here click to activate then after that you will uh, redirect to the snowflake console page there you will give your username and the password in this mail whenever you click on this click to activate and after that whenever your account will be activated then you will receive this type of mail that your username is this and your account url will be this so you can simply click on this login to console and you can simply give your username and the password here and you can sign into the console one 
here you will receive your username and, and this URL also. So you can just simply copy this URL and you can simply paste this URL also in the URL bar of any browser or you can simply go to Snowflake and you can copy, you can give your username and password there. And Okay, so here you can give your simply username and you can give your password and you can do sign in. Okay. So this is the way by which uh, you can create your Snowflake free trial account. Okay, I have created my account already. So that's why I'm not going to create an account. I have just simply tell you the process that how can you create a Snowflake free trial account. It is just free. Everyone can create this account and as if any one of is facing any type of issues then you can dm me on instagram or you can ask me in the comment section i will definitely try to help you okay so this is just a simple process for creating an account you have to simply just click on the start for free and you can you, and you have to give these simple basic details here and you can simply click on this continue button and you will be redirected to the snowflake console and you will uh, receive the mail to activate your account whenever you will click on this click to activate then you will be redirected to the snowflake website and there it will ask you about the username and the password you can set that and you will get your user url of your account and all these things okay so you can just simply create your account from there so so these all the steps that how can you create your snowflake account okay so now let's log into the snowflake console and see how the console looks like okay let's log into our console okay snowflake console okay so i'm just uh, doing the logout one okay okay so just see this things okay <coughs> so guys uh, you can see my account is activated now and i'm going to sign into the snowflake okay so you have to just simply type your username and password then and you have to simply just click on the sign in option okay so now it will do the sign in okay so this is the end is no flake interface okay it will look like this in your systems okay so here i have just created some of the databases on all these things and i have created this snowflake training warehouse also so that's why it is showing me that it is a warehouse and all these things in your maybe these things will not so but uh, it is showing in me mine because i have done some of the practice here and so i am working on the snowflake that's why it is showing like this in my console snowflake okay so this is so guys uh, you can see these are some of the roles account admin org admin public security admin sys admin and user admin so these are the roles which are available to us on the snowflake as i have discussed on that structure part where there was a service layer and there is access control and the authentication and i have told you that access control there are lots of roles in our snowflake okay so these are the roles which are provided by the snowflake to us these are some of the warehouses which i have created so these are the things which we will discuss in the upcoming videos that how to create a warehouse how to create a schema and all these things there will be uh, one beginner level one video where you can you will be doing some ddr dml and how to create warehouse schema database and i will tell you the difference between database schema and warehouse and all these things okay in the upcoming video okay so this is the interface part okay so here this is, these are the worksheets and this is a basically the databases here these are the databases which are available to us okay so basically this is the snowflake console okay you can say this is the snowflake new console which is updated version only this is uh, you can say it is a it is a snow site okay we call it as a snow site console one okay so it is a snow site console and uh, I, I want to show you another console also which was the classic version earlier there was a classic version also so, okay if you don't want to use this snow site console then you can also use that classic one okay that uh, i also really like that classic one console i usually prefer to use that classic console only i don't work on this uh, snow site one but if you want to work on this snow site you can choose this one or you can choose that is no <coughs> that is no like classic ui also the, we have two options okay so just uh, let me show you that uh, classic ui also okay so guys uh, you can see this is my classic console okay that was you can say this is a this is my snow site one and this is my classic console classic ui okay because uh, this is a uh, user friendly i am currently working on this classic ui from lot of days so i am familiar with this that uh, how it works and all these things so guys uh, actually i want to tell you that i have worked on that oracle mysql workbench and all these things so it is uh, just like that one only so uh, just that's why i have chosen this snowflake 
classic UI also okay and if you have also worked on this classic version of that uh, MySQL Workbench Oracle or whatever you feel like good you can use that one also okay you can use this one classic UI or you can go for that store site one okay so here also there is a same options available okay so you can see these are the roles and from here this is the account information or all these things these are this is the uh, left panel where from here you can see see your databases tables schemas and all these things okay so these are the some of the schemas tables available to this is the database here marketplace warehouse okay as i have discussed in the earlier video that a warehouse okay so you can see this is a warehouse and these status is suspended here we are not currently working on any of the warehouse so that's why it is showing suspended we can uh, activate this by doing the resume okay so this is the database which are available to us so this is basically the intro part only you can see these are some of the worksheets which are available to worksheet you can see was basically an editor you can say whenever suppose that that vs code vs code is an editor where we write some things where we do some code and all these things so in snowflake we have worksheet where we do some coding and all these things where we do query and all these things so in worksheet only we will do queries okay so these are the things which are available to us in the snowflake and this is the warehouse ST and all these things so you can take the overview whenever you will work on the snowflake now then you will better understand this user interface that from where we do what are the things available to us and all all these things okay so you will be familiar with this snowflake console in some time whenever you will work on this for one two day then you will be better familiar with this snowflake console okay so i want to tell you one thing by default when you do sign up or sign in or you are a uh, new to snowflake then you will get this console only that is no site one okay and if you want to use this classic console classic user interface I want to tell you that how can you go to the classic UI from the snow side, okay? Because uh, sup uh, suppose that you are here in this in this snow side one, okay? So how can you move to that classic version, okay? So I want to tell you, okay? So, so first of all, uh, either you can do some changes here, okay? So you can simply click on here in the there will be some profile option, okay? So you have to just simply click on this profile option, and after that. After clicking on the profile option, you can see your details here and after that, you can see one option here available default experience. Okay, on the default experience, you can simply click uh, by default in your when you do sign in first time, then you will see here is no site option will be there in your console is no site console. Okay, so you have to just simply click on this is no site one and you have to just simply choose this classic UI okay and after choosing the classic UI you can simply click on the save and you will be getting the classic UI of the snowflake in your systems okay after, uh, after choosing this profile as a default experience as a classic UI you have to have to just simply go to the history of your browser and you have to simply clear all the data of your browser and you have to just simply open your browser again and go to the snowflake and you have to just simply the sign in again and then you will get the snowflake classic UI okay and if you are not getting the snowflake classic UI by this method then I have one other method also I want to tell you that method okay method we have to just simply copy this URL and we have to just simply change the account name with the location okay so this is suppose that this is my snowflake console URL of the snow site one okay so we have to just simply copy this URL and we have to simply write this is my account name okay so we have to just simply type this this name here in this app.snowflake.com and after that we have to just simply type my location and after that we have to simply like type app.snowflake.computing.com okay so this is the method by which your snowflake console classic ui will definitely change from the snow side to the classic version okay and if you are not able to do these things uh, Okay, let me show you classic version url okay so you can see i am telling you this thing you have to just simply go to the url and here you have to just simply give first your your first your account name and after that you have to give your location and after that you have to simply type snowflakecomputing.com then your snow site console will be changed to the 
snowflake classic ui if you are not able to do these things then uh, there is a one video link in the description box you can visit that link and you can watch that how to change the snow site console to the classic version and how to move from snow site to the classic version of snowflake okay there i have discussed all these things in a practical and i have changed my snow site console to the classic version okay there is a link in the description you can visit to that video and you can watch that practical video okay so that's it for today's session we have seen that how to create a snowflake free trial account and we have also seen some of the overview of snowflake console that how it works there is a this is a database this is sharing whenever you do sharing of snowflake and this is a marketplace this is a warehouse where we create a warehouse there are basically the three things uh, you can say there are basically four things okay not three things first one is a warehouse after that warehouse in the warehouse there will be a databases in the databases there will be schemas in the schemas there will be a tables okay so there are basically four things available to us okay and this is a where worksheet where we simply write we do query this is our editor you can say and this is a history and this is account and all these things available to us okay and here some of the drivers also available okay so there is a new sql uh, suppose that you want to connect this to the python and all these things so here you will see all these things okay so there will be some videos on that is no sql also that, that how to connect to the is no sql how to connect the command line to the snowflake uh, console and all these things you can visit the description box and there is a complete playlist which is coming in my channel you can simply open my channel and you can move to the playlist type and you can watch the all the videos there is available in my playlist that how to enable how to connect how to do the integration from the command line of command line to the snowflake console okay so these are the things which we have discussed so far okay so that's it for today's session meet you soon in the next very interesting tutorial and if you haven't subscribed my channel please support us by subscribing my new channel and we will be learning snowflake day by day and we will be learning snowflake okay in depth okay in our upcoming videos we will be seeing all the topics uh, we will see all the theory and practical and all these things okay so thank you for watching this video bye take care of yourself guys